Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to check out my other videos. And if you like my vibe and what I do, you can also subscribe and like this video, it really helps. Um, so, if you followed my previous videos, I think I told you, I'm not sure if I did actually, but anyway, I was in Switzerland for about three, four months. Um, and I was basically working, working, working so much uh, to save up to travel the world. And that has been my long time dream since, since I can remember really. And the Christmas season and New Year season is now done. And I came home to uh, celebrate Christmas and New Year's with my family here in France. And now that all of this is behind us and I can finally go, I'm so excited, I'm so 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 excited to travel. Um, I just can't believe that this is actually happening to me and I actually get to experience my my dream. I mean, it's just crazy to think it's just around the corner, in a few days I'll be gone and it just feels so nice to finally like be able to do something you you've wanted and expected for so long and then it's finally here it's like such a rewarding uh feeling especially because i've been working so hard uh to travel so basically today we are the 20th of january i think and i am leaving on the 25th of january so in four days i mean yeah four days five days but actually four days like the fifth day i'm leaving so in four days i'm leaving and i am going to copenhagen denmark um <laughs> i was supposed to leave on the 16th of january 2023 but uh my parents and i got sick so i could not leave i was supposed to go to Tallinn, estonia uh i was really sad because we got sick the day that I was supposed to leave um, and so I felt really like so disappointed because I've been working towards that goal to leave to Italy in Estonia for all those four months I was working and I had that in my mind while I was working you know I was thinking okay you're working it's annoying it's hard you don't want to be here but it's okay because you're working to go to Estonia um, but you know life happens for a reason things happen for a reason and at first i was really down like i really thought oh my goodness i'm never gonna leave every time i try something to do something for myself it doesn't work uh, and i got really disappointed honestly um but then i realized that you know it's not because you get disappointed that something you've dreamed of for your whole life is not going to work like i need to keep pushing through and so I did, I did, and I the day that I couldn't leave, I got my, a new ticket to go to Copenhagen. And then I thought about it and actually thought, well, you know what, maybe it's even better. Because I Hey guys, this is just me editing, and I just wanted to apologize for the way I say better. I have no idea why I say it like that. Um, it's probably because my brother always says it's much better. So anyway, cheers to that, and just see if you're passing through here, that's all your fault, so. I think in Copenhagen there'll be more young people um, that are traveling, because it's more like of a touristy um, destination, I think. At least I think it's more than Tallinn was. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, so now I'm leaving on the 25th. I did my luggage for Tallinn, and I was ready, I was all packed. And now, because I'm going to Copenhagen, I think it's, honestly, I think it's going to be colder than Tallinn. So I think I'm going to redo completely my luggage. I think it's like minus 10 over there. And I'm a bit scared because I'm going to be freezing to death. But it's fine. You're here to experience. And honestly, I don't mind the cold. I do mind when it's freezing, though. So I need to pack more, um, like, some of those jumpers, like high necks. Um... And more like hot, I mean, cold weather clothing. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm talking too much again. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would, I really hesitated for a long time to do video while I'm traveling because 
I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with filming and walking around the streets and everything and in the hostel and I don't know if it's gonna work out but I am here to try and if it doesn't work out then I'm sorry but um I'm just gonna push through like I don't really care if people judge me because I'm probably not gonna see them ever again and I would be really really happy to see those videos of my first solo traveling as a woman at my age and I would love to show it to my children and I would love to watch it back in 20 years time and I'm sure it will be a lot of amazing memories to have on hand so I'm going to pack my suitcase now because I have only four days left and I need to make sure that I have everything because if I don't I need to go buy it so if you guys are interested in this video <laughs> um well come along guys let's have a little packing chat and packing together and yeah Okay, so first I got a new bag, which honestly I'm not sure if I should have because I spent a lot of money on it <laughs> and I could have spent money that money on travels which would have been maybe better better but I needed a good bag, I needed one that was waterproof, I needed one that was safe, I needed one that was the right size so I could take it on the plane without paying a carry-on or a luggage, I mean a a luggage that you put um, in the plane, like check-in, in the check-in area, whatever, <laughs> whatever you call that. So I did buy a the North Face um, solo camp, no, base camp travel 42 liters, I think that's what it's called. And so I'm really happy with it, they, don't get me wrong, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm so happy I bought it, but I'm not sure if it was worth it, so anyway so that's the bag it's pretty big it's 42 liters I and mean, actually it's not that big it's like a backpack but quite big and it's actually amazing because you can wear it like a like a bag like sports bag man this is big i don't know if you can see yeah like a sports bag um or you can put it as well on your shoulders if I can yeah and then you can also put it on your shoulders like this which is amazing honestly because sometimes you get really sore shoulders with wearing them all the time with wearing a heavy bag on your back so if that is the case you wear it like this also sometimes when you just like go up the stairs you go on the plane uh, and then you have to take it off. It's really annoying because you're pushing everybody and just there's some damage that's, that's getting done. Um, so I'm really happy with this bag. The zips are incredible, actually. They're uh, water resistant, I believe. And the thing I really, really liked about this bag, actually, is that it's, it opens as um, a suitcase. So... When you open it, it's really like a suitcase, but at the same time, it's a bag, you know? And also, the um, zip is on your back. So when you wear it, there's no possibility that someone steals from you, which is very safe. And that's what I like. I like to be safe. It has lots of different zips, and it has a shoe compartment. It has a computer compartment. All in all, it's a great bag, and I'm really happy I bought it. Um, so yeah, another thing I did buy are packing cubes. I've heard a lot about cat packing cubes, and I hesitated for quite a long time to buy some because I wasn't sure if it actually saved space or if it was just to keep it organized. And because they are quite expensive, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put that money that I worked on so hard. <laughs> Uh, into packing cubes but I decided that you know what it's a good idea and if I do travels for like five years or something or even if I just want to travel a year and then I feel like I want to stop traveling I will still use them when I travel again for a week or weekend or something so I'm really happy I bought them and when I got them I was really really surprised of how much they compress like it's incredible 
this is the biggest one and this one is already compressed and in here i have five pairs of gym jeans i mean pair of pants and jeans and sweatpants can you imagine how small that is like i don't know if you realize how much space it would have taken if i didn't use packing cubes so i got this is the l this is the s in here i have two jumpers and some shirts and this is the s this one has like 12 tops 12 tops in there i don't know if you guys realize how incredible that is um and so how it works is that you just unzip the zip and then it becomes bigger and then if you want to compress it you just zip the, the zip back it was and then you compress and then you have another zip to open like to actually open you know the packing cube so that's something else i got i got to travel and i actually i would i would actually highly recommend if you are planning on traveling with a backpack especially traveling du during winter is so much more complicated than if you travel during summer because in summer you just wear dresses and small tops and they just crunch up into tiny tiny you know tiny space but because i'm traveling in a super cold country i need jumpers which take a lot of space i need jeans that are thick so th that takes a lot of space too and i need underneath things to keep me warm like uh, i don't know how you call that like thermal something anyway so yeah i got those which i'm really happy about and i did get a few other stuff to travel i also got a new bag that i am so happy i wore i just love it so much <laughs> And it's like a huge fanny pack. It's really, really big. If I put my journal, you can maybe see better. Like this is how big it is. It's really, really big. And it can contain a lot of things, which is really practical. So that's something else I got. And I'm really happy I did. I also got a new coat. But actually, I think the co coat I got is not warm enough for cold season. But we'll see. Anyway, so let's pack. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to show you everything because that's going to be a very long video. Um, I'm going to keep it short. So I'm just going to show you what I got. I mean, what I take, what I'm taking. So <laughs> I, for pants, I have these green pants, which are really my favorite pants. If you go to H&M, I don't usually buy things new. I always go into thrift shop and buy things second hand um but honestly for pants it's a little bit hard to get really nicely fitted pants and they are my favorite jeans i have them in five uh, four colors and they're just amazing honestly i don't have anything else to say they're straight leg high-waisted jeans they cost 15 euros at h&m and honestly if you haven't got them yet go go buy them you won't regret it honestly they're just amazing so I have those green ones, then in the same um, form, I mean the same jean, the same, what do you say, what do you, how do you call that, the same design or whatever, I've got the brown ones, um, brown ones are super cool, I love like brownish uh, beige colours lately, I wear a lot of beige colours, uh, I also have a pair of jeans that I absolutely love, that I got second hand and I love these those are my favorite jeans so that's three pairs I got some sweatpants to travel with and if I'm ever doing something like that I don't really want to dress up for or if it's really really cold or something I have those on hand which is amazing and the last pair I got I actually am hesitating on taking those because they're not really that warm but anyway it's those really cool pants that I actually got my sister for Christmas but they were a bit too small so she gave them back to me um, and I thought those would be really cool for like if you have a fun day or if you want to take photos or something just it looks cool um, I just love I love it I love the design so those are the five pairs I was thinking of taking for Tallinn and now I had to rethink if that's what I want to take with me to Copenhagen 
And in the medium packing cube, I have jumpers. So I have this jumper that I actually just bought, especially for this trip. Uh, and it's a high neck jumper I got at H&M. And it's so soft. And actually what I love about that is that it has a split at the bottom. And I just find that so elegant. Like I really, really love it. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but anyway. So I got this one. And I got also this one especially for this trip which is just a turtleneck this time and it's the same shape with the this here on the bottom and they are super super soft super warm actually so that's really cool and then again that was for Italian and I'm not sure if I'm going to take this for Copenhagen because oh, I don't know I have to rethink everything everything and also, the thing is that when you travel and you go into like op shops and uh, secondhand shops, the thing I always, always, always find is jumpers. Every time I travel somewhere, I find a jumper. So I'm just thinking, should I get, should I leave space in my bag to get things over there? Or should I just bring everything in case I don't find anything? A bit confusing, I don't know. Anyway, and in the smallest little packing cube, I have all my tops. So I have this super cool um, rock and sofa t-shirt that I really like. So that's one of the things. I That's, that's the thing I wanted to get rid of. Actually, I thought about it. Uh, it's those tops, I love them, but for where I'm going, it's way too cold. <laughs> So it's like just those tops to put underneath. I thought I, I thought I could put them underneath my jumpers. But then today, no, not today, but during the week, I realized, because it's really getting cold here in France, that uh, if I don't tuck in my under shirts like this, then the wind goes in and it becomes really, really cold, extremely cold. So I'm thinking I should get long longer t-shirts that i can tuck in so the wind doesn't go through my clothes so i think this i'm gonna leave i had actually a few of those uh i actually got all the colors i had because i absolutely love those little tops during summer but right now is not the right time i think i would be that's the one i would like to take it's more like a longer version um it smells so good. Uh, yeah, because I cleaned everything before I go. That's a good idea, guys, because like that, you spend less money on washing. Um, and then I have high necks, a black high neck, just simple t-shirt fabric, and a white one, simple t-shirt fabric uh, high neck. So that's what I had planned. Um, and I also brought some shirts. I short sleeve shirt that I would wear with one of these, for example. And I thought that, I think, I mean, I love to wear that. That looks really cool to me. Uh, it looks like nothing right now, but actually it really does look cool. And then I have this orange undershirt, um, undershirt shirt, long sleeve and turtleneck. And this one, that I love to from H&M. Those are the baller ballerina tops from H&M. And they're super, super comfortable. Super cool. And they go with anything. I also have the black one. I actually have the black one on right now. So that's the black one. And then I have this top one uh, as well. So that's what I was thinking of taking for Italian. And now I have to rethink what I'm going to be taking for Copenhagen. Other things that I will be taking with me are... Uh, first of all, my travel journal. I really want to keep a journal while I'm traveling because I think that's kind of the coolest thing you can do because then you get to read back on it. I just want to keep it written down somewhere uh, so I can look back on it and feel nostalgic, basically. <laughs> so uh, I already started, actually, because I thought I was going to go to Italian and I didn't. So yeah, anyway. That's good to have on hand, also because I want to organize myself with like uh, YouTube videos, also I want to do more reels uh, on Instagram. By the way, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I will put the name here. Um, 
and yeah so travel journal always nice to have when you travel and this one is actually a super cool one my dad and i made this cover it's like a leather cover and on it we engraved adventures and it's just so nice so anyway i'm really proud of this book because i made it when i was really young with my father and it was such a cool bonding moment that i really remember as a happy memory another thing is a book at the moment i am reading the picture of dorian gray i actually started reading this and i wasn't so much into it but i think it's because i was reading in the train and so it was reading stop reading stop and i think this book i have to sit down for an hour or two read half of it or something and then read the other half i can't just read like five pages and then move on and another five pages and do something else because i think you need to concentrate a bit for this book i mean i feel like i need to concentrate for this book and because i have a lot of time on the plane and in the airport i can read definitely read and also i want to go in small coffee shops in copenhagen and just journal have a little coffee so those are the things i really would encourage you to take if you travel especially if you solo travel because i also forgot to say but this is my first solo travel ever i have traveled a lot in my life uh, for my age i mean but i have never taken a plane alone and i'm not gonna say i'm scared to take a plane alone but it makes me anxious so i'm super excited to conquer that that anxiousness and to just do it and i know it's gonna be totally fine and i don't even know why i'm anxious about it but it's just that feeling of people checking your bag and you're not sure if you actually have drugs on you because if somebody puts drugs in your bag then you actually go to the police and everything i've heard stories and that make me scared another thing is of course a water bottle this one i got in sauce and green and absolutely love it it is not isotherm i mean it doesn't keep it hot warm or cold um but that's all right because i just brought this cup with me and i mean i just bought it the other day actually and it's super cool and i thought i could just take it like do a tea in the hostel and then just walk around around town with this cup also it's really good for the planet if you want a coffee in a coffee shop you can just say can you put it in this cup and then sometimes they give you a um, discount because they don't have to use dishes and they don't have to use paper cups and actually this might sound really weird but in here i have a little head of ginger because when i go to the hostel i just want to make sure that the first night i am there i have a nice comforting drink and i love ginger tea lately it makes me feel really good it clears up my skin my digestion is much better and so yeah it's just fresh lemon cut it a little bit in hot water and there you go you have a nice tea comforting and warmy if you're sleeping in hostels a game a card game game card card game uh i just bought uno you know you know um and i made this little pochette with the crochet which i absolutely love actually i don't know i don't even know how i made it but it just turned out pretty cool and i actually recommend this because you know it's a game where like in each country they have different rules, which makes it so funny to play with different um, nationalities, nationality, nationality people. Is that a word? Nationality. Anyway, um, and so yeah, and it's also such a good way to make friends. So I'm counting on this to make friends. And uh, next up is a sleeping mask. This one my sister got for me. It's also from Sauce and Green, and I actually love this shop. It's such a cute shop. Next up is a towel and this one is a microfibric towel which means that it dries quickly and it folds up super small which is amazing uh some people i've seen people say that you should take two of those because if you want to go to the beach you can also use the other one and if you want to take one for your hair or something but honestly i'm just gonna take this and i think it will be enough because honestly i don't think i'm gonna go swimming in that freezing cold water um so maybe if i travel in summer i will buy another one but for now this should do the trick also have beanies i have this super cute orange one and i have another pink one which is over there and i don't want to get it but beanies is really important to get headphones always get headphones when you go on the plane uh or airpods or whatever 
he wants or with with a string or without a string i don't i don't care i pre honestly prefer it without a string because every time it just rips off and it's so annoying but the other thing is that with airpods you always care you're gonna lose them so be careful on that um but yeah i just like to have both because they both charge with bluetooth and if one goes off then i'm happy to have the other one and also for example if i do sport i prefer to wear this one if i go on a plane i prefer to wear prefer to wear this one but if i just walk around town i would just take those airpods and that would do the trick i gave myself a bit of a challenge to do uh watercolor painting while i'm over there of all the beautiful um monuments i will see and so i decided to take my little watercolor palette and i hope i'm not going to regret this my father gave this to me and it was it was his when he was younger and i just cherish this so much like i'm so blessed to have that i really want to get into watercolor painting while I'm traveling. Hopefully I will get the motivation to. I love painting and I love drawing so it shouldn't be too hard but you know sometimes you get caught up in life and you don't have time or you don't feel like it's staying in the cold uh, with your hands freezing to death while you have to draw a painting. So maybe I'll just take a photo and then I'll show them later so they can see what it is. Anyhow, something else that is incredibly important to have when you're traveling in the hostels is those white boys uh if you know them by communal <laughs> showers you honestly don't want to risk it don't risk having um i don't even know how those things are called but like it's like a little mushroom that goes on your oh on your feet and it's not nice so just get those but those are really important to have um and yeah just other basic stuff underwear socks very big socks um also i'm super proud of myself because i made this super cute underwear bag the other day and it's it has blue inside it and i just love it oh yeah another thing actually you need a tote bag always have a tote bag on you just because when you do your grocery shopping you will need one and if you buy things or something or if you end up buying things and then you have to travel to another destination and you don't have space in your bag and you just have to carry them with you, that's horrible. Just take another bag with you. I also am taking another pair of shoes. I will be taking those and I'm not sure if it's such a good idea actually because I want to do hikes and I don't think I can do hikes in those. But at the same time, can I? Maybe I can. So they're just high waist- uh, high waisted. <laughs> They're just high pants uh, and I love them actually. I don't wear them as much as I should. So that's perfect. It will give me the opportunity to. I will also be taking boots uh, with me because it's cold obviously and I need boots and a scarf and a coat, but I'm not exactly sure if I mean which one I'm gonna take. So yeah. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed making it and it feels good to make something again like create videos again it, it has been quite a long time since i did so it feels good to be able to do it again and i'm really looking forward to travel and i really hope you guys will come along with me and follow my adventures and exploration and everything and yeah i hope you all have a good night morning afternoon whatever time it is for you and be blessed take care of yourselves Bye bye